So, I watched this anime called Fantasy Bisojo Junniku Ojisanto, or in English, it is life with an ordinary guy who reincarnated into a total fantasy knockout. Why do I feel like the title in Japanese is easier to remember instead of the English one? Since their days as students, Tsukasa Jinguji has had incredible luck with women due to his good looks. Hinata Tachibana has had almost none, overshadowed by Jinguji's brilliance. However, while Jinguji has never shown interest in the opposite sex, Tachibana is always desperate for a girlfriend. Despite their polar differences, they continue to be best friends even in their 30s as salarymen. One night, the two are returning home from a mixer where Jinguji was the center of attention as usual. In his drunken rambles, a frustrated Tachibana inadvertently wishes to become a beautiful girl with irresistible charm. As if the heavens were listening, a goddess suddenly shows herself before Jinguji and Tachibana transporting them to another world to defeat the demon lord and simultaneously granting Tachibana's desire. <laughs> Tachibana, now in the body of an impossibly perfect woman, has become so attractive that even Jinguji is captivated. <laughs> <laughs> Moreover, Tachibana grows aware of Jinguji's stunning appearance, finally understanding his popularity. <laughs> Before they fall in love with each other, the duo must complete their mission or risk remaining prisoners to their infatuations forever. From there, it's nothing but absolute hilarity as wherever Hinata goes, she becomes the fragrance marker of every man in the vicinity, good or bad, all in the viable attempt to be as popular as Jinguji, and she got all the publicity that she wanted. And given the power system in the fantasy world, since Jinguji is the popular kid, he is made OP while Tachibana has to start from scratch. And that sets as the journey forward as both male and female wander the distant lands to come across kingdoms and people with a bit of eccentricity that add to that hilarity. The first they encountered is this weird, boorish, extravagantly beautiful lady of an elf chiefess, Telolilo Lilili Lu, and their guardian who has been killed just for food since it harassed him in the first place. She acts like a tsundere when praised and acts the total opposite of being a nuisance when she isn't given her rightful treatment. But the next character is easily the most parody word hilariousness and that's the black swordsman Kirito or uh, <coughs> I mean Swordsman Lindstein Lohengram. Even with the sword to match and his boisterous claim that he too like Jinguji and Tachibana were summoned to be a hero worthy to fight the demon lord. Really though, I've never seen a Kirito party this good. After that, they go to various places with various weird customs. From the village that sacrifices a beautiful girl to a giant squid. to the capital city where there exists a temple of the goddess of love and beauty. The temple is kinda full of surprises. And also don't forget the masterpiece of the masterpiece poem from the king.
쉽기 쉽기 빨치 Beautiful. There are also some other unique supporting characters as well. There is Shen, the slap trader who is so mysterious and kinda creepy for having a romantic feeling toward Jinguji. Well, basically, the main characters Tachibana and Jinguji are also questionable. And there is the princess of the kingdom that I don't even know the name of the kingdom. Ukraine who just suddenly wants to jump down without any reason. Also for the opening theme of this anime, I don't know what to say. It is not good but also not bad either. I find this opening is how the atmosphere of the anime is. With how the anime is focused mostly on comedy, I don't know why but I find it so enjoyable in various ways because of how comedic this anime is. And for the ending theme... Yeah, it is so-so. <laughs> when you see a comedy show like this, it's easy not to take this seriously because it's meant to pop fun in the madness of things and indeed, Fantasy Visojo has done all that. Is it a watch? Though that's up for debate because while the comedy here can become stale somewhat, it switches some tactics so that it doesn't make the viewer expect what's to come. Well, that's the literacy of comedy work. Fantasy Visojo is a good show to watch and just have a fun time for ordinary people. Yeah, just like me. And so that it's for this video. If you find this video is entertaining to you, don't forget to like this video. And subscribe to my channel for the upcoming anime video from me. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.